Eritrea is a land of extremes, where the earth scorches under the relentless sun in the Danakil Depression, one of the hottest places on the planet. Here, salt flats stretch endlessly, and volcanic landscapes create an otherworldly beauty that is both harsh and captivating. Yet, just a few hours away, the cool highlands of Asmara rise above the clouds, offering a stark contrast with their lush greenery and crisp mountain air. This diversity in terrain has shaped Eritrea's culture, its people, and its approach to security. Along the coast, the sparkling blue waters of the Red Sea shimmer in the sunlight, connecting Eritrea to ancient trade routes and modern maritime challenges. For decades, soldiers have patrolled these rugged landscapes, facing not only natural obstacles, but also the ever-present threat of conflict in a region marked by shifting alliances and uncertainty. Their vigilance has been the backbone of Eritrea's sovereignty. But now, a quiet transformation is underway. High above the ground, drones, unmanned aerial vehicles, are changing how Eritrea protects itself, offering a new perspective on age-old challenges. This isn't a flashy overhaul, but a steady, determined integration of modern technology into the country's formidable military. Soldiers are learning to operate advanced systems, blending tradition with innovation. Drones are now central to Eritrea's defense strategy, providing real-time surveillance, rapid response capabilities, and the ability to cover vast, previously inaccessible areas with ease. These unmanned eyes in the sky offer an asymmetric advantage, allowing Eritrea to monitor threats, gather intelligence, and respond to incidents faster than ever before. The technology is a force multiplier, making every soldier more effective. This isn't just about acquiring new gadgets. It's about safeguarding sovereignty and ensuring stability in a volatile region where every advantage counts. The eyes in the sky have become Eritrea's first line of defense, providing a constant watch over borders, coastlines, and critical infrastructure. This shift is part of a global trend, as nations around the world realize the power of unmanned technology, not just for security, but also for disaster response, environmental monitoring, and humanitarian aid. In the Horn of Africa, where borders and alliances are always shifting, Eritrea's growing drone fleet is drawing international attention and reshaping the balance of power in subtle but significant ways. The ability to see from above, to anticipate threats before they materialize, is now one of the most critical assets a country can possess in the 21st century. Eritrea's drone story is just beginning, and as technology continues to evolve, so too will the ways this nation defends its people and its future. For decades, Eritrea's borders were guarded the hard way, by soldiers trekking for days through unforgiving terrain, braving scorching heat, biting cold, and the constant threat of ambush. These patrols demanded incredible endurance and courage, as troops navigated rocky deserts and remote mountains, often with little rest or support. Yet even the most dedicated ground patrols could never cover every mile. Vast stretches of border remained exposed, creating opportunities for illegal crossings, smuggling, and infiltration by hostile forces. The sheer scale and isolation of the landscape made total security nearly impossible. But the arrival of drones has transformed border security. Now a single UAV can sweep over hundreds of kilometers in just a few hours, scanning for movement and gathering intelligence that would have taken soldiers days or even weeks to collect on foot. Flying high above the rugged landscape, drones provide a persistent wide-angle view, day or night, unaffected by darkness or difficult terrain. Their cameras and sensors can spot suspicious activity that would be invisible from the ground. This virtual fence, created by constant aerial surveillance, is far more effective than any physical barrier. 
drones can monitor areas that fences can't reach and respond instantly to emerging threats. Drones also keep soldiers out of harm's way, allowing them to conduct risky reconnaissance missions from the safety of command posts. Instead of risking lives in dangerous zones, troops can now rely on real-time video and data from above. With this technology, troops can focus on specialized missions guided by up-to-the-minute drone intelligence. Every operation is now backed by a wealth of aerial data, making planning and execution more precise than ever before. The quality and speed of information have skyrocketed. Drones track movements, record high-definition evidence, and transmit live feeds instantly to analysts and commanders, enabling rapid decision-making. Instead of reacting after the fact, Eritrea's military can now anticipate and intercept threats as they develop, responding in real time to drone alerts and intelligence. The result is a smarter, more proactive defense posture, one that leverages technology to stay a step ahead of any adversary. Today, drones and soldiers work hand in hand, each playing to their strengths. The synergy between boots on the ground and eyes in the sky has redefined what's possible for border security. The era of eyes in the sky has truly arrived, ushering in a new chapter for Eritrea's borders, one where technology and human skill combine to keep the nation safe. Eritrea's borders with Sudan and Ethiopia are long, rugged, and historically hard to secure. Traditional patrols could only do so much, but drones have created a digital fence in the sky. UAVs fly programmed routes, scanning for unusual activity 24-7, regardless of weather. When a drone spots something, alerts go straight to command, enabling rapid, targeted responses. Early warnings are now possible, giving Eritrea time to prepare and prevent border incidents. Drones also gather valuable data, helping analysts map smuggling routes and refine security strategies. This technology is building a smarter, more adaptive defense for the future. The Red Sea is vital for trade, but also a hotspot for smuggling and trafficking. Eritrea's long coastline is hard to police with ships alone, but drones are changing the game. Long-endurance UAVs patrol for hours, using radar and thermal cameras to spot suspicious vessels, even at night. Operators track boats in real time, directing naval patrols with pinpoint accuracy. This makes interceptions more efficient and increases the rate of seizures. Drones also gather evidence for prosecutions and help map out entire smuggling networks. By analyzing surveillance data, authorities can target not just boats, but the entire criminal infrastructure. The fight against smuggling is now smarter, more precise and far-reaching. Technology is dismantling criminal enterprises from the inside out. In any crisis, terrorist attack, border clash or disaster, speed is everything. Drones provide instant situational awareness streaming live video to commanders within minutes. This real-time intelligence allows for safer, more effective responses, whether tracking suspects or supporting troops. Drones can even provide overwatch, warning of hidden threats during operations. In disasters, UAVs quickly assess damage, locate survivors, and guide rescue teams. The result? Faster, smarter decisions that save lives and resources. Drones have become a decisive edge in both conflict and crisis. The ability to see first is now a game changer for Eritrea. Eritrea's drone program is part of a global web of technology transfer and partnerships. Much of the hardware and expertise comes from abroad, especially Iran, a major drone exporter. Iranian cargo flights to Eritrea suggest a steady supply of drone components and technical support. Iranian advisors likely help assemble, integrate, 
and train Eritrean crews, accelerating the country's capabilities. But this reliance brings risks. International sanctions and diplomatic pressure are real concerns. Eritrea must balance the benefits of rapid modernization with the dangers of external dependence. Local engineers are adapting imported drones to Eritrea's unique geography and climate. This customization is key to making the technology truly effective and sustainable. Eritrea's approach is both strategic and pragmatic, leveraging global resources while building local expertise. Advanced drones are only as effective as the people who operate them. Eritrea is investing in rigorous training for operators, analysts and technicians. Training starts in the classroom, covering aerodynamics, navigation and drone systems. Simulators provide realistic practice, letting trainees master flight and surveillance skills safely. Live flight training follows, with increasingly complex missions under expert supervision. Data analysts learn to interpret drone feeds, turning raw footage into actionable intelligence. Continuous training keeps skills sharp as technology, and threats evolve. Maintenance crews ensure the fleet stays mission ready at all times. This human element is the backbone of Eritrea's drone program. The nation's security now depends on these new guardians of the sky. Eritrea's rapidly advancing drone capability is dramatically reshaping the horn of Africa's power dynamics, giving the country a technological edge that was previously unimaginable in the region. Once considered a minor player, Eritrea now wields significant influence thanks to its growing fleet of unmanned aerial vehicles. Persistent aerial surveillance acts as a powerful deterrent, especially against historic rival Ethiopia. Eritrean drones can monitor troop movements, border crossings, and even intercept communications making it much harder for adversaries to plan surprise attacks or covert operations. Drones also support Eritrea's involvement in Sudan's civil war, gathering real-time intelligence for allies and providing critical situational awareness. This technology allows Eritrea to project power beyond its borders and influence conflicts in neighboring countries. But this new power brings significant risks. Neighboring forces may now see Eritrea as a more prominent target, raising the stakes of any confrontation. The increased visibility and reach of Eritrea's drones could provoke preemptive actions or escalate existing tensions. Ethiopia faces a new and complex strategic challenge as Eritrea's drone fleet grows, potentially sparking a regional arms race. Both countries may invest heavily in counter-drone technologies and air defenses, further militarizing the border. The spread of drones to rethink their own military doctrines and alliances. The future of warfare here will be shaped by unmanned systems, as technology continues to redefine the balance of power and the nature of conflict in the Horn of Africa. Eritrea's drone revolution is just the beginning. AI and autonomy are on the horizon. Soon, drones may identify and track threats independently raising tough ethical questions. The prospect of autonomous armed drones is controversial worldwide, and Africa is no exception. Miniaturized nano-drones could make surveillance even more discreet, while larger armed drones would escalate military power. These advances bring challenges, privacy, legal compliance, and the risk of misuse. Eritrea must balance security needs with citizens' rights and international law. 
the choices made now will shape the region's stability for years to come. Technology offers new power, but also new responsibilities. Eritrea's future and the Horn of Africa's depends on using these tools wisely. The silent revolution in the sky is only just beginning.